What's up guys, this is the Board Game Roamer and I'm here with a solo playthrough of Circadia First Light made by Shim Phillips and S.J. McDonald and this is a game of uh, dice where we're going to roll the dice, we're going to basically action the dice or activate the dice uh, on our board doing different things like gathering resources, turning in the dice uh, for points with the uh, races that are out there and building um, cards that are going to give us abilities that are going to make stuff cheaper or give us straight up points, things like that. So let's go to the table and check out Circadian First Light. Alright, so here we are at the table with Circadian First Light. Uh, I've played through this once completely in solo. Um, this is uh, relatively, uh, I mean I won't say it's new new, but it's newer, I guess. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to play. I've got everything set up. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of the game and what to expect. So we have our player board down here. Uh, we start off the game with three uh, dice. And the AI is going to start off the game with three dice as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll these dice. We're going to slot these dice here. And then we have kind of really two... Um, options right so we can either place the dice here on our board and and place them up here at the top which is going to let us action them which is going to let us to go out onto the board to different locations like for example let's go to the dice tray right quick for example this mining camp right so this mining camp is going to allow us to get crystals so we would place our die in one of these two spaces pay resources in this case it's water and then get crystals that will go to our board and ultimately uh, get us points in the, in the end game. Or we may be able to use it to, for example, trade uh, over here at the market. All right. So that's kind of the way it works. Uh, or we can slot them in our base and generate water, energy, or algae. That's the three resources in the game that you can do at your base, or crystals, which is what you get from the mining camp, or some other tiles, as you can see out here. So while we're out here, let's talk about the tiles, um, the uh, board here. So this represents, oh, it's backwards. <laughs> Hold on. I forgot I meant to change that. I set it down there. Oh, this actually be a good, good, good time to show you this, too, as it turns out. Let's try that. See? Perfection, right? All right. So I'm going to put these back here. So these, um, this board represents the planet, and we have a harvester that's here in the middle. We're the orange, uh, AI is the black. And we're going to move that harvester around, and there's going to be a phase where we harvest from uh, harvester resources, and that's going to be harvesting from here, that's going to be harvesting from our board over here. Um, we can harvest a number of things. Uh, it can be energy, algae, water, and um, or even dice. Now, the other thing that we got to do as part of setup is different places on the board uh, has kind of like extra resources. So it's not just what you get to harvest when you move there, uh, but when you go to that location, you also get these additional resources. So we're going to do that right quick. All right. And this, this is going to be important because the AI is also going to be moving around on this world. And the thing with the AI is if they move over a spot with these extra resources, because they don't just move one spot, like we can only move basically one spot at a time. And then we can get these resources. They move, multiple spots at a time. It's a little bit of modified rules. They're going to actually take these off the board. Um, they don't use resources uh, other than crystals. That's the only thing that they get. And they have some scheme cards, which we'll talk about that in just a second, that kind of determine what they'll do. But uh, all the other resources they don't get. But they do take them, effectively take them from us um, by moving on top of them. So we have to kind of keep that in mind because depending on the direction they move, they may move and take up several 
of these, which is uh, just going to give them points, which is not good. Um, I play, like I said, I played this once. I really enjoy it. It's not, it's not a difficult game. It's easy to learn. The AI was a little bit harder to learn just because there's, and I, uh, I'll show you here in a second. There's one thing, like I understood most of it. There was one thing that I did not understood, understand. Um, and I don't know if it was just that I didn't understand it or it was the way it was written in the book, but uh, the bottom line is I didn't understand it. Uh, so the AI is going to move. When it moves, it's going to move, um, you know, it's instead of moving like we would have to move, say, one space if we wanted to move over there, depending on the die that we used, it, it would actually move and it goes first every turn. It does everything it does before we do anything. It would actually move all the way over until it either hits the edge of the board or it hits a crystal. Uh, if it passes over any water, then that water just comes off the board. But if the crystal is passed over, it goes to their board and then their scheme cards, which are these up here, We'll do things. We'll talk about those in a hot second. Um, what else? Right. Um, so let's talk about let's talk about the negotiation board next. So this represents the three factions, the three races that are on the planet that we can deal with, and the way they work. Uh, and I'm just going to go through all the boards right quick. The way they work is um, you place a die and you turn in resources. So this green one takes the algae, this one takes power, and finally crystals. And depending on, dependent upon the number of crystal of the uh, resources you turn in, you're going to get in-game victory points, which are over here on the side. Um, the most victory points total come from over here with the crystals because they're the hardest thing to get. But uh, also... Um, each one of these guys has a special power. So the green, uh, we can change a die on our base to anything. Pretty pretty powerful if you play that early because you have a bad roll and you really want to get something better. Um, the yellow, and these are two-sided, okay? So there's other powers on the other side. Rearrange upgrade tiles in your research base. So once you place down here on your research base, when you place your, uh, your ships, when you upgrade the, your, your uh, vehicles to ships, and place those there, or if you add or replace um, any tiles for your laboratory, your research, generating resources, those have to stay there. Like the order you put them in is the way they've got to stay. But that's going to let you rearrange that. And then the other thing is the Jariuk is going to let you pick it to gem caches. So you'll notice, and I know these aren't completely slotted in, but they're really tight, and I'm afraid one of these days I'm going to end up ripping the cardboard on them, so I'm not going to push them all the way in. But you'll see that they have this plus one gem and then plus a die. So you can add dice to the game. Think of them as your workers. You can have up to five dice um, is what we can have. And um, so we, if you land there, you get those. But also at the end of the game, on the back of all these, we have points. So, for example, this is worth six points in the end game. If at the end of the game, after the eighth round, because this game does take eight rounds, um, your harvester is sitting on that location. So that's um, that's how those work. Over here, like I said, you're trading. But here's the thing. So the first time you, on this board, you place a die. So for example, let's say the first time I place a six. So it goes right there. We have um, advancements and setbacks. So an advancement means it's the first time I place that number. It's kind of like a bonus. So I get to take the six and you get to put it in any one of these things here. That's going to give me a free lab upgrade. It's going to give me a free upgrade for um, over here at the, what do they call it? The foundry. I'm going to get an upgrade from there. I can move my harvester. I can get a person. I can get a free crystal or I can draw two um, item cards. We'll talk about those here in just a second. But that also means that the next time, let's say the AI drops a six here, they don't get that bonus. All right. So it's just the first time that number dies played, period. Then we also have to evaluate the columns individually. So, for example, um, for example, here, if we have uh, great, less, uh, greater than or equal to 8, so if that means if the column has, let's say that I put a 6 
and then I put a two down here later. So if this column is greater than or equal to eight, I have to take this, and this is a setback. Basically, it's kind of like we've um, messed, pestered them, I guess, too long, uh, and they don't want to talk to us anymore. So that actually removes something. So it would remove all the same things. Now we get to pick. The AI is just going to slot it from the left side to the right side if they happen to do that. But we're going to have to remove something. So we're going to have to move the harvester back. We're going to lose a worker. We're going to lose a crystal. We're going to lose a lab upgrade. He said, and we have to pick something that we can do. So if we don't have any crystals, we can't pick to lose a crystal. Or if we don't have any um, upgrades in the, either the research lab or from the foundry, we can't you know, we can't do that. So that's how that works. The depository, this is where we're going to go to build um, our cards. Here's our cards. I'll show you an example of that right quick. So we have these cards, right? And what they're going to do is they're going to cost, uh, you can see these are points, ultimately. Um, they're going to cost resources up here in the top. We're going to have some sort of effect. So in this example, we get one energy less to go to this location, which is where we move our harvester. So it's going to cost us one energy less to do that. It's called a fuel refiner. And then I've also got, I'll just go ahead and show you these one here, the hydraulic core. So five less water and two points at the end game at the, um, what do they call it? Control room. And then I've got the aqua cannon which is three water, two energy, gets two points, and it's five less water at the foundry, which is where I get the upgrade. So uh, that's that's how those work, just making things cheaper, essentially. Um, so I get to hold three of these in my hand, right? Um, I can draw more, but I can never build, and this is marked, and it's hard to see, marked on the player sheet down here, can never build more than uh, eight of those, all right? So keep that in mind. Um, but we're going to take a die. We're going to put it here in a two-player game. This far, this far column is not used, so we're going to put it here. Uh, I guess I should never even see it over in here. Depending on the number and depending on where we put it, we're going to get a bonus. So, like, there's a harvesting bonus, upgrade, a, a worker, more cards, and these stay here permanently. Anything placed here, anything placed here, stays on these boards permanently. So you they do not go back to your pool like the rest of these do, they stay there permanently for the rest of the game. Also, you can go to the headquarters, which is down here at the very bottom, and you're going to basically put that die there. You're either going to get two of these cards or five water, and then you're going to execute those cards in the next round before you do anything else. So if it, it's a way to take a die and maybe get something you really need next round by kind of not using it this round. All right, that takes care of that. Uh, locations over here. We have the laboratory. Requires two equal dice of the same number, and that's lab upgrades currently. That's an automatic plus one uh, power, plus three water, or plus two algae every harvesting. We have the academy. That's how you can get additional dice to add to your dice pool, your, your worker pool. Uh, one, two, or three, you can pay some water uh, to get one die or two dice. Four and five, you're paying algae. Six, you're paying energy. The mining camp, um, you can go here to get either one or two crystals, depending on your die values. Um, the market down here, you can trade. So there's two spots. Um, you've got four water, two energy, and a crystal to trade any way you want to trade it. And then the other spots, three water, two algae, and one energy to trade it any way you want to trade it. And then the control room is how you move this up here. So, for example, uh, it's got this kind of this. It shows you. Let's put it up here. Get back to the dice tree. So this is gonna this is gonna have a, a direction, right? So if I do a six on the board, that's the direction. If I use that die for that, that my harvester is gonna move. And then you can see the cost at the top uh, over here. And that's either two water or ten, or excuse me, two power or ten water. But again, like I said, having um, dice to slot is going to change that because, for example, if I had um, this this over this one over here down here in the bottom corner, 
is minus five water. So if I had that and I use that, then it's only going to cost me, say, five water to move my harvester. So that's how that works. Um, the deck there on the, this uh, depository headquarter board. There's a deck, cards. Uh, there are events each round. We have an event that starts at the beginning that's going to modify the rules or change something up that round. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. The last card is the eighth card, which is the end of an era. So at the end of that round, we'll score. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Um, so let's talk about the AI right quick. AI has a scoring mechanism up here. We'll look at that when we score. Um, but basically, he scores for placing over here. Uh, doing the negotiations, he gets um, um, a point uh, per uh, per die over in the was that depository. Okay, um, and then he gets points for his harvester, and then he gets two points per upgrade. So there's these three upgrades underneath him. And then he gets a point per crystal. These upgrades can be flipped via these scheme cards. Normally you draw two scheme cards. And the first one moves the harvester and does something. And then the second one does something else. So you're going to be basically be placing um, dice out on the board, kind of blocking spaces for us. So that's how that works. Um, and then he'll also be potentially getting additional crystals and such, depending on how many dice he has up here. Again, he has the max of five as well. So what is my character's special ability. So I ignore Naria Soul. I ignore all algae calls from garages when actioning dice from a research base. This game calls placing your workers actioning dice. That's the same thing. So basically, at the top of my board, the first placer, uh, first worker I place is free. The second one costs one algae. The third and fourth one costs two algae. The fifth one costs three algae. I don't pay those costs. All right? So... My advantage is that I don't have to pay a lot of algae to move my workers out on the board. Um, now, I know that that seems overpowered, but to show you some of the other ones, because basically all of these are really, 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 they're really good. They have one thing they're really good at. So, for example, um, gain one additional, this guy, additional reward of a different type when actually dice at the depository. I mean, that's insane. Get a free upgrade when actioning dice at the laboratory. So I could go to the lab over here, and then I could just get a free upgrade from over here. Um, you can move your harvest to an adjacent space at the end of the harvesting phase. That's that's insane. Uh, so um, you may treat all negotiation setbacks as positive effects. Actioning dice at the negotiation board costs one less gem, two less power, and three less algae. So you can go to this board a lot more with him. Um, you always treat ones and twos as sixes in the mining camps, in your farms and at the mining camps. I mean, down here's your farms. That's crazy. Uh, you get one die every round if you have less than five with her, and that's all the rest of them. So they're all really, really powerful. Not game-breaking powerful, just really powerful at what they do. So you have one thing you can kind of ignore. Um, all right, so I think that's it. Let's get this bad boy started. So the first thing we do is we're going to take three of our dice because we need to do that. I don't know why my workers are co-mingling with the other one over there. Bunch of traitors. Um, uh, let me grab one thing right quick. Uh, we're going to do the event first. All right, so our event is gain two item cards when actioning dice at the market. Okay, now the event is not gonna affect the solo player, so that's really just a, a bonus for us. So if we go to the market down here at the bottom, we'll get two um, hmm, item cards from up here. Oh, that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, okay, so that's it. So the next thing we do is we roll now, the AI doesn't roll. I'll show you how his scheme cards work here in just a second. They don't roll, but we do roll. All right, so we're going to go down to the dice tray. We're going to roll that beautiful bean footage. Two fours and a one. Okay, so how do we want to do this? 
Um, I mean, I want to, I know I want to move the harvester. Um, and I'm not having to pay algae cost up here, so that's going to make things a lot easier for me. So, uh, two fours and a one. Look at the control room. I can move either here or here. Um, because if I go up here, I'll get a die. That's the, that could be very good. So I think, and that's a one. So we're definitely going to do that. Um, and then, because I really want points. So I need to be looking at these two, right? So I need water. I need power. Um, mostly water and power. So... Let's, I'm not going to have enough, I had to actually, no, I wouldn't have enough to do that. So, because it's going to cost me 10 of these to move, move my, 10 water to move my harvester. So I'm not going to have any water. Um, hmm. uh, I could trade some algae for water or power for water. Don't really know that I want to do that. Tell you what let's do. Let's, uh, we're going to use our two energy, one to go to the foundry to get an upgrade, and then this other four, uh, I guess let's generate, let's just generate some water, because I don't have, I mean, I'd have to use both fours to get this, but I can't afford it if I move my harvester, so, and I do have these cards, I'm going to, hopefully it's easy to see, it's just easier than keeping a bunch of stuff up here, fives and tens. To keep up with my resources. Okay, so that's my turn. So what we do next is the um, that's the plan phase. During the planning phase, nothing happens with the AI; it just sits there. Now this phase happens. So we pull a scheme card. We look at the scheme card, all right, and we say, okay, that is a four, all right. Put this here. So the first die. Is going to be a four. We go from right to left. Not that it really matters, but it's a four. And then we look at the possible action. So the first action is we want to go trade with the Jared. Well, okay, and this is the one thing that I did not understand in the book until I saw somebody play it through. And I don't know if I just like was not missed it or what. But anytime you go try to trade with any one of these people with this card, it's got a question mark here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that means you look at this, the crystal cost over here. So like, let's say that um, I had two crystals, but instead of showing in the red guy, so that would mean I would put this die right here, okay? That's what that would mean, which effectively gives them five points at the end of the game. But let's say that instead of it being the geriac, it was these yellow guys that take energy. I would look over here on this column and look at the crystal count, so if I had two crystals, instead of putting it over here, I would put it over here in their column, but that's because it matches up with the two crystals. That's how that works. It was very confusing when I first started, but after I saw a playthrough, I was like, oh, okay, that makes slightly more sense. All right, so, but the thing is, we can't do that, right? We don't have any crystals, so um, we're going to have to do the second action. But before we do that, we have a four, which means we have to move our harvester, so we consult the control over here and the control says a four is a south west move so this is going to move as far as it can until it hits a crystal or the edge of the board in this case it hit a crystal so we're going to take that crystal off crystal goes to their board so now they've got some stuff to do so you some stuff to, to use all right uh, then we would try to do the trade actually after that they have one crystal, but they don't have two. That's the minimum that you have to have. So we go to the next one. That uh, goes to the laboratory. So the four... Uh, where did I just put you? I just had you in my hand. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. For real, yo. They just said it right in there. So we take the four, 
we put it in the laboratory. Now, what that does for us is that completely blocks the laboratory. So now I can't put anything here, unfortunately. That was their first action. And we get the reward beside it in this case, which is they get an upgrade. So we take this upgrade token. So these upgrade tokens on the back have points. They're going to count for points at the end of the at the end of the game, which is what this is telling you to per upgrade. And it also uncovers a special ability. So during the harvest round, when we return dice, if uh, normally that's when we would gain gems. But regardless of whether we have enough, like let's say we only return two of these because one of them went to one of these boards that they don't come back, we're going to always get an extra crystal each round. So it's going to have more, more crystals. And at the end of the game, those count for points as well, one per. So that's the first card. So we move the harvester. We did that on the bottom. Then we draw a second card. And we do the same thing, except we evaluate the card. The number on the top doesn't matter for this purpose. Um on this particular card, but if it was, let's say, telling us to go to the depository or do a trade action, we would put a two there, right? Because that's going to count towards the setbacks and whatnot uh, as we add more and more dice to that column. So again, it wants us to try to trade with the Jarek. Can't do it. We only have one gem. We would need two. Uh, it says go to the market and get two gems, and that is a two. So the two is going to go to the market. It's going to always go on the, oops, I keep hitting that, left hand side. So boom. So now we cannot go to that spot. This spot is cut off. And that's the two actions, but the reward is he gets plus two gems, which stinks. There's the two gems. So now we can finally do all our stuff. Um, and we do ours in order from left to right. So we're going to take the one. Gosh, I don't forgot what I wanted to do. What was the one? Oh, yeah, we're going to move. So we're going to move. We're going to take this, put it over here on the control room. Uh, we're going in a northeasterly direction. So that means that we're moving here. It's going to cost us either two energy or 10 water. We're going to choose to pay the 10 water. So I'm taking it off of there. That's our 10 water. It's our first action. Uh, the next dice we can action is here. Normally we would have to pay the one algae cost, but remember, because of our leader, we don't pay any allergy, allergy, allergy cost. Algae cost. So we're going to take that four, and we're going to do something with it. Um, I really, I, I, I could, you get another worker, I suppose. That, Let's do that. So that's going to cost us two because I, I, I can either pay at this position two algae or six algae and get one or two workers. only have two algae. So that's what I'm going to pay. Uh, and that's going to give me one additional worker to my worker pool. So I'm going to put it right there. All right. That's the planning phase done. That is the execute phase done. So we've done all of our actions. So now the harvest phase. So the harvest phase is where we get what's on the board in the world, the planet, and we get anything in our farm. And also I should point out, as you add more and more places to these, uh, you're going to get upgrades, uh, more points at the end of the game as you fill those up, plus the points that are showing on the tiles. So harvesting. Uh, first thing, we'll do this, the AI first. So we return dice first. So we look at these six over here, and the AI is going to return these. Boom, boom. And then if it can gain gems, it does. In this case, because it's in this position, it gets one gem. We put a gem out. And then because of this, it gets one additional gem, which means that now it's got five gems already, which is really messed up. <laughs> so I'm going to do this just to keep from having a million gems on here. Oop. Let's do that. Alright, let's get five gems. Um, then the harvest we get ours, so we get one energy. So now we've got three energy. 
Then we get one die from our dice right there. So we do that. We take all of our dice uh, back. Um, actually, well, technically, I guess we do that when we rest, but we're going to get all our dice back and then we're going to harvest. So we've done uh, this. Then we're going to do this. So this four, there's a chart down here. So with a four, I can either get six water, three algae, or one power, depending on what shows in my lab. I can either get water or, water or algae. So I can either get six water or three algae. Which one do I want? Water's pretty important. So I'm probably going to go with six water for now. So I'm going to put one here, five there, so that's six water. And that takes care of that die. Uh, and then that's during the rest phase. Well, that was the harvest phase, the rest phase, then I would actually pull all my dice back. I tend to just do those at the same time because for me it doesn't matter. But uh, during this phase, if, for example, the AI had only had two dice because they had been put somewhere over here, he would now gain the die that's listed on top. So, boom, he would get that die back. So, he didn't have that, so nothing happens there. Um, I didn't go to the market. Probably should have, actually, now that I think about it. But that's that's done, so we're going to go to the next event. Headquarters does not reward water or item cards. Okay. So when we place it in the headquarters, normally we get either water or item cards to go first in the next round. That's not going to do that this time around. All right, all right. I see. Um... Okay, so now we're going to roll all of our dice. So we got five dice, which is our max. Whoop. We're going to drop them all over the place. First one goes to the dice tray. What do we got here? We got a one, two, four, five, and six. So we're definitely not going to be able to go to the laboratory. That's unfortunate. Um, all right. Uh, well, we, we like resources because we're, we're really going to need some resources. So I think I want to put one of those in the lab, at least tenuously. Um, I really would like to go get uh, an upgrade. I need a five or a six to do that. So at the foundry. So we'll do that. I can pay two energy to go there and get, uh, I need a five or a six bill to get this water reduction tile. That leaves me a one, a two, and a four. Um, I'm not going to have enough to build anything, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, because I don't have enough algae. Now, I could possibly build this aqua cannon, right? Because oops, because it just requires three energy, two, three water and two energy. I could probably swing that, but then I wouldn't be able to pay for the upgrade over there, so I can't do that. Okay. Um, I can't move the worker. Dang. I could turn some some things in... Right, so I could trade possibly at the market. Of course, I'm making all these plans. AI hey, may turn around and, you know, cover up that spot or cover up this spot or something like that. Now, and once I make my plans, you can always, you know, once it starts, you can put it wherever you want. That's not a problem. Um, let's put it here. Again, I'm ignoring the algae cost, so I'm not worried about that. I think I might try to go to the mining camp. And then... Um, I'll put these, the one and two here. So this slot, this first slot, adds three to this die on the right, the first one I come to. So this actually becomes a five. All right, so I think that's it. I think that's what I'm doing for the second round. I would go to the headquarters possibly to get five water, but if it's not going to give me anything, I don't really know that it's worth it, to be honest. I don't really have enough. 
energy or anything like that. All right, so these go away from last round. I'm just going to put those underneath. All right, so let's start with the uh, execute phase. First is a three. So this is going to be a three. And we're going to try to trade with these guys. First thing we're going to do, but we're going to move the harvester first. And a three is southeast. So it's going to go here. It's going to move this direction. So it's actually going to pass over this all the way to the edge. It's going to take that water off the board. And that's where it's going to sit. Now it is not going to get that benefit during the harvesting phase. Uh, but if it's still there at the end of the game, it's going to get the points. Let me show you that. There's points underneath um, all of these, right? Variable number of points. So they're worth in-game points um, as well. So then it tries to trade. He's got five, which is the most. So it takes all the crystals it's got. This three goes here. Now, this is where the advancement setbacks comes in. That's the first time a three has been played anywhere on this board. So we take the three peg off here from the advancement section and place it right there. First available one. That takes care of the first card. Second card, all right, it's going to try to trade with these guys, but it needs crystals to do it. We see we just used all our crystals, so that doesn't happen. Next thing it's going to do is it's going to go to the academy, which is the recruitment, basically. So this is going to become a six. So it's going to take up the six space on the academy. And it's going to gain two workers. All right. Wow. This, this is the normal one. I played the easy one, and this is definitely ramped up. Um, that's its turn. It's done for the execute phase. Now it comes back to us and we get to go. So, um, we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to buy over here for two energy this upgrade. So what this means is wherever I place this, so like for example here, whatever action I take with this die is going to be five water less. So it makes things cheaper. Um, then, so I've got, uh, yeah, don't want to do that. I could use the four to move here, but that's just one of everything. That's no good. Basically, the further out you go on this board, the more stuff you get. Uh, this side is kind of energy and algae. Lots of algae down here. Water and algae down here. Water and power up here. Kind of the thing. Or lots of energy there. So, depending, it's the, that's you got to decide which one you need to go to. Because it's harder to move it back around without paying a whole bunch from, you know, once you start moving it. So wherever I go, it can be worth five less water. So let's go to the mining camp, right? So the way the mining camp works, put this over here so it's a little bit easier for you to see. The way the mining camp works is there's two spots, right? There's this x equals 16, x equals 6. So what that means is there's a calculation that happens. The amount of water you lose is variable based on how many gems you want. So I would take, if I put here, I'd say X is 16. So it'd be 16 minus your die that you use to go there is how much water it would cost. Whereas if I go to this one where I only get one crystal, it would be six minus the die. So it's a lot, it's cheap to get the crystals there, but you can get two crystals here. So I want to get the crystals, I think, because I can, I can trade them and uh, up here, or I can get lots of stuff down here. So I'm going to use the four and then go here because remember, whatever I do with this one is five less. So that's going to be, I'm going to put a four. So that's going to be 
x, we're going to say that's 16, minus 4, that's 12, minus 5, oh, that's, I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, I am. Because that would be, I'm going to get 4 and 5 is 9. Nope, I need 7 more and I've got 6. Dang it. All right, I guess I'm going to go here. Seems like kind of a waste, though, doesn't it? But I don't know. I don't really want to use the four to move my harvester. So I think that's really the only thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to go there. It's going to be six minus four is two minus another five. So it's effectively free. It's going to give me one crystal. And that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right. So that is the execution phase. We go to the harvest phase. Uh, the harvest phase, all the workers are going to be returned from the AI. So notice that this one over here did not come back, right? Because it is been used on this negotiation board and nothing's come back. Um, return dice gain gems. So it's going to get two gems because of that's where this die is covering up and another single gem because of its upgrade. So that's going to be a total of three gems. All right. And then for us, we're going to uh, harvest first, so we're going to get one energy, one die for a planet. Then we're going to get uh, this die. So this die is a plus three to the next die over. So this, I'm going to set this here. I'm going to put this here because that becomes a five. And of a five, I can either get seven water or three algae. I think I'm going to take the seven water. So six water and seven water is 13 total. So there's my 13 water. Takes care of that die. And then I've got a six for either water or power. I can get eight water or two power. Uh, I think I'm actually going to get the two power. There we go. Yeah. And these also return. Now, I've got six dice here. I can't have the five. All right, so I've got to put one of those back. So that's the harvest phase. Then we have the rest phase. AI would gain dice. Again, these technically would come back um, at that point. But like I said, I'd do it all together. And that is the end of that round. So let's go on to the third round. Please be something good. Okay, that's not good. Outbreak, all farms produce half their resources because that's so much fun. Okay, so that's 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 not good at all. All right, let's roll the dice and see what we got going on here. Two fives, a two twos, and a three. So we do have some matching dice, which is good. So that would mean that we could attempt to go to the laboratory. Of course, it is pretty expensive, but we do get the five discount, so we could actually go over here for five. That may be worth it. Let's take the twos. Let's, let's do that. Go over there. So that would be five water over there. We've got 13 total. We have enough energy to move um, our harvester. I really kind of want. Uh, let, let's do this. Let's tra let's change this because I want to move the harvester further that way. Uh, no, I don't have a good way to do that. No, oh, never mind. Let's sit right there. Dang. Um. Now, if we had enough algae, we could go here and then change one of these dice to something, but. That's not going to work. Uh, well, I'd say we could go to the mining camp again. So, the five water that would leave us with eight water left here. If I used a five, 16 minus five is 11. Oh, wait, I'm not going to have that discount. 
Uh, all right, let's just use the three to go to the mining camp, I suppose. And then I hate that I'm only going to get half half the uh, farm stuff. But I don't have enough. Well, now I've got enough energy, though. I can go over here and trade. I may do that. Plus, if I do trade, that'll be a five hasn't been used. That means I'll be able to move. I can use the, move the harvester because I can use this to move over here to move the harvester. Let's do that. And then, I mean, I might as well just I might as well get something from the farm because I don't really see another good place to pay. So I'm going to use all my energy or I can you know, get another die. All right. And I'm not going to be able to build any of that. I'm not doing that for sure. Okay, so let's do this. These go away from last turn. And we're going to draw. So it's going to be a five. And he's going to go to the depository. Okay, so the, this die is going to go to the depository in the five slot. He puts it in the top. And he's going to lose a crystal. That's a five, so it's going to move uh, once. It's going to move in this direction, so it actually goes all the way up here and takes that crystal. Uh, that's the five and the observatory. Next card is going to be a six, and he's going to go to the observatory. He can also do that, and it's going to cost him one crystal. So there we go. That's the AI done. Now it's over to us. So we're going to go over here to the lab. Boom, boom. We're going to get um, this guy. That's going to cost us normally 10, but it's going to cost us 5 because of the uh, upgrade there. We can put this, now we can put this and cover something else that exists, or we can just put it in a new place. That's what we're going to do. And then we would flip over this to see the new one is going to be, you can take a six and get two workers. It's not bad if you need workers. All right, that takes care of that. Then we have the three. Uh, what are we going to do with the three? I so I need a worker. I could do, ah, I do remember. So the three, we're going to go up here and we're going to place it right there. Um, I'm going to spend four energy, right? So there's my four energy column. Then, uh, so, oh, no, 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 no. I'm doing this backwards. Hold on. So I was going to get that bonus. I'm not going there. I'm going here. So three, six minus three is three. So I pay three water to get the crystal. And then with a five, because remember I don't have to pay any algae costs because of her. I go here. Then I pay the four energy. And I get to take the five and put it wherever I want. I'm going to move the harvester one direction, any direction. It's going to give me another crystal. And that's the execute phase. Uh, the harvest phase for the AI, their dice come back. In this case, all the dice that they placed, both dice that they placed, went on boards that don't come back. So actually nothing happens. Then they're going to gain gems. Well, they're not in a position to gain gems based on their dice value, but they do get the free one because of their upgrade. Oh, Lord. Playing a different game. All right. So that gives them theirs. Uh, for us, we get two energy and six water for that location. So that's going to give us 11 water total. 
and then two energy. And then we're going to do our uh, farm. But remember, with our farm, we've got uh, half because of the outbreak. So round, half rounded up. So with a five, we can either get seven water or three algae. Let's see. I think we should get some algae. So it'd be half our algae value, which is three, 1.5, and it's rounded up, so we get two algae for that. All right. Then we get all of our dice back during the rest phase. Oh, wait. I took one out of that. The five should be up here. <laughs> so we got our four dice back. And then um, the AI gains dice if he needs to, and in this case, he gains one die. So basically, it's always going to have three dice, potentially more. So that's the end of that round. So we'll cover these up. And go on to round four. So this is halfway. Uh, all right, gain one additional dice when actioning dice at the academy. Okay, okay. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do well. I could I could get these crystals over here and then go to the academy to replenish my dice and be back up to five. That's a thought. I'd really like to buy something though. I mean buy something. I really like to build something though. I really would. To make things cheaper, especially something like this this foundry card, right? Where I can get five less water and time I go to the foundry. And then I couple that, say, with using the die in this spot, that means a foundry upgrade is free. Huh. All right. Well, let's just see what happens. So we're going to go to the dice tree, and we're going to roll the beautiful bean footage. And then we've got one, two, two, and four. Okay. Um... One, two, two, and four. There's no algae cost. Well, actually, that no algae cost is not bad. Because that we could put that here. So, thinking of going here, uh, it's going to cost me two energy, which I would have. So, I think that's all right. I would like to move the harvester... So over here, what do we got? Six water and four energy. Uh, so I would need a six to do that. I don't have a six. A two is not going to help me. Well, I say that. Two would get me close to this. And a bunch of water. Let's do that. I'm going to move the harvester with that one, I think. It's going to take all my water, though. Um... Trade. I could go over here and trade for. Oh, I could go over here and. Tr oh no, I need to go. I need to go visit those guys. Now I've got three. Uh, a two hasn't been used, so we might as well try to use a two because a two hasn't been used over here to get another upgrade. Draw a couple more cards, maybe. And then a four. I'm not going to have a whole lot left to do much with, unfortunately. I should. Uh, I'm not going to have enough to go to the mining camp. Um, I may just go to the headquarters with that one. Oh, I wish I could go to the academy. That's what I need to try to do. So I'm not going to have enough. Well, I'm going to have two algae. So I'll go to the academy, spend the two algae, and get two dice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. All right. Cool. Uh, man. You, 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 you. All right. Here we go. Uh, going with the solo. So we're going to execute. First scheme card is a three. There it is. Hold it up there for a second. So it's going to be a three. It's going to go to the depository. And it's going to cost him one gem. He can do that. 
and it's going to move the harvester in the direction of three, which is over one. Oh man. So it's actually going to move all the way back to here. Dang. That's no bueno. <clears throat> all right, next card. It's going to be a four, and that's also going to the depository. And he has the crystal to spend to do that, so he goes over here, spins a crystal. Okay? So that's, that seems like it's not bad, but each dice he puts over here is worth a point. So even though he lost a crystal, he didn't really lose any points. It kind of sucks. Okay. What am I going to do? So, with a one... I'm going to go over here. Let's actually go right there. I'm going to spend all three of the crystals that I have. I, have, I can look at it, any two gem caches. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. So this this one, if the end of the game, would be worth five. Since this is the area that I'm at. And then this one is going to be worth six. So pretty decent ones. All right. And then I have a one. Uh, what can I do with it? Actually, mm, this would be interesting. I thought about getting a die, but I could go here and just straight up pick up this, put it right there, which I think I'm going to do. That's going to save me. Yeah, that's going to save me. All right. Um, then I can go somewhere for five less water with a two. So I'm going to move the harvester, I think. So I'm going to go here. That's going to move it one to the right. It's going to cost five less water because of my upgrade. So that's going to move him here. Um, and that's that die. Uh, all right, then we're going to use a two to go over here to the academy. Crap, that costs water. Oh. Oh, no, did I, did I reverse those? Yeah, it should have been like this. Let's say I've got algae for a reason. Uh, it's going to go there. It's going to cost me two algae to get a die. But, because of our event, and one additional die when actually dice at the Academy, I actually get another die. So that, that's basically a free worker. And then the two, I'm going to mining camp. That's going to be six minus two is four water. So, that leaves me with two water. And I get a single crystal. Okay, that is all of my actions. Now we go to the harvest phase. Uh, we return dice from the AI. The AI this time again actioned everything in a place where they can't come back. They don't get any dice. Uh, they would gain gems. They don't get one for up here, but they do get the one free one. All right, and then we harvest. So we're gonna get two energy. A good bit of energy here. Two energy. And then 12 water. So there's 10, 11, 12 water for our harvester. Um, we didn't put any dice down here, but one of the uh, farm tiles we picked just gives us an automatic plus three water. So three and then take two, that makes five. So that gives us 17 water. So we got a lot of water. We got to put that to good use. Um, yep, that's it. For that round, round five. So there's actually really a... Uh, it, it, I know it seems like, of course, I did a lot of explanation for like the first 15 minutes. So it's really actually a pretty quick game. Um, all right. What's the next? You must discard one item card... To action dice at the negotiation boards. Okay, so we'd have to get rid of 
a card to go over here. Interesting. Oh, we did pull all of our guys back. How do those come back? Those, again, stay. All right. Um, gosh, we really got to build. All right, we definitely got to build something. We got to deposit something depository for sure. Um, a two, a three, or sorry, a three, four, five, or six. Twos we can't use. Uh, let's go with depository for that with a three. That'll give us a die back. Well, we can choose actually. We can either get a die or a couple more cards. Probably we'll take the. I'm gonna take a couple more cards just to see what we get. Um, a lab upgrade would be nice. And that's not, but not be using the algae. Nah. All right, let's do this differently. Let's go here so that we can get a lab upgrade, hopefully for five. Then we can go deposit to build a card. And then a six. Uh, I think, I think. Five. I think, yeah, we would have enough to go to the mining camp and get two. And then four. Uh, I'm going to put it here so that we can get a little bit more energy and then maybe trade next time around with those guys. And on the, none of the columns, we haven't done hit, hit this here, right? None of the columns have been hit, so we're okay as far as losing something. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. AI, execute phase. He goes first. We have, oh wait, sorry. I didn't add the die last time. So I'm going to gain dice in the rest of the phase. So it's going to be a four. It's going to try to go to yellow. It can't because I've blocked it. I don't know. And it's going to move. Uh, it can't move. With a four, it's got to go this way, so it can't move. Um, it's going to go to the lab. Dang it. Oh, and it's going to get a second upgrade, which means it's going to get another die. Shoot. That's not good. And that's another two points for it as well. Oh, okay. This is going to be a five... Uh, it can go there. Uh, wait, what did I do? Oh yeah. Five. It's going to go to the, try to negotiate with the green, which means it needs at least two crystals because that spot is open. It's going to do the best one it can. So I just turned two crystals into two points and three points. At least it didn't get another upgrade, because when it gets another upgrade, that means it executes another uh, card, goes to three scheme cards a turn, which is just atrocious. All right, now our execute phase. Now we got a problem, because it took over the lab, which is exactly where we wanted to go. Jerk. Um, uh, I only have four energy, so that's not going to help. One crystal, that's not going to let me do anything. Now I can I can make this a three if I wanted if that would help was that gonna help me anywhere probably not no um, three over there I mean I could get an upgrade but I don't really it's not really gonna help I could make that a three. I don't want to move my harvester yet. So uh, I guess I guess I'll just make this a three. And because of this. And let's go over here to the depository. Let's build the aqua cannon for three. There's four, five, and two 
energy. All right, so then the end game that's going to get me two points, and that's going to make every trip to the foundry over here worth five less. So basically, I'm, I'm going to get points, is what that's going to do. Uh, we're going to put this. Not enough room. I'll move this further up. All right. Um, another two. Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, I really don't want to move it over to that. Oh, wait, I got to draw two, two of these cards to see what we get here. All right, so we've got three point Lear and Basket. Three water, four algae. When I go to the market, whenever I take any action, so either one of these two, I'm going to get two free algae. And then worker drone, I'm going to get three points for it and then two points for everything that I have built. So, interesting. Uh, all right. Well, if that's the case, I think I'm going to take, oh, could I do that? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go with this two over here to the mining camp. So it's going to be six minus two is four minus five means that's free. So that's going to be a single crystal. And then the three... Uh, the three I'm actually going to send to headquarters and get five more water and I'll be able to place first before the AI goes next time, which is the good part about that. Um, and then I'm going to take the six, go here. There's no algae cost, so that the particular position didn't help me, but it's going to be 16 minus 6 is 6. So I'm going to need to pay 6 water. There's 5, 6 water. And that gains me 2 crystals. So I actually would be able to go over here and do some trading, I think. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh... I did go to the negotiation board, so good there. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep. I think that's it. Uh, gotta remember the foundry's cheap now, too, because it's only five water, two energy. So, oops. Don't, don't want to put that up. That's mine. Skin card trying to take my cards. What a jerk. All right. Uh, harvest phase. Returning the dice. You can only return one. Um, gain gems. It, AI can't do that. That's all the dice that it can return. Harvest. I'm going to get two energy. And 12 more water. 12, 13. That's going to be... Oops. Oops. 15. I just like to do that. I know that's a little more confusing potentially, but I just like to do that because it's easier for me to keep up with. Uh, so that takes care of that. And then down here with a four, uh, I can either get six water or one energy. So I'm going to go ahead and take the energy. That'll give me five energy. All right. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. All right. And then I'm going to go to the rest phase where I return all my dice. Oh, down to three. Um, and AI is going to gain one die during the rest phase because it was right here. So he starts out with three. All right. Next card. Ah. 
Two item cards may be spent as two power or one gem. Okay. So, hmm. Oh, so that's one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna have that. Could have a bunch of power though. And I've got one, two, three, four, five. If I'm not gonna, wasn't gonna build these. I could spend it to nine. Wow. Nine power. That's interesting. Uh, if I had a two, alright. Alright. Nice. So let's roll our dice. Let's see what we get. We're only rolling three though. Oof. Four, five, six. Not bad rolls per se. Just really high numbers, because I thought about going over here, but that's going to put me in the negative, right? I don't know if I want to do that. But at the same time, I really need to do that. Uh, I really need to build some stuff is what I need to do. Of course, I don't have any algae. Hmm. I got a lot of water, though. I trade water for algae. Or I could trade a lot of power for algae. Okay. So... So, I think definitely going to go to the mining camp. Need to go to the academy. And I don't have a two to move my deal there. Uh, I could go to the academy for five water. I don't have a three to do that though. I'd have to have algae or power. I'd have to, oh no, I'd have to have algae. Because I only have four fives and sixes. Dang. Ugh. That sucks. Okay, let's do it this way. This is what you gotta do. You gotta just keep messing with it. Let's make that there so that can turn into a three. I could get a die from there. Uh. Then we're definitely going to go over to the mining camp. And then I think, I think, I really need to buy, I need to buy another upgrade just to get the spot filled up. Because as you fill it up, each uncovered space at the end is going to be worth points. Um, so, yeah. And with these other two that are over here, that means I'd get to action two dice first, which may be very beneficial to me. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Let's go buy some other foundry upgrades. Yeah, and I won't have to spend the power because I can just get rid of one of these that I don't. One of these cards I don't think I'm gonna do anything with. Okay. Um, so, before anything else happens, though, remember we have this three that we can do something with. And actually, you know, I like the plus two power there. We're going to use this three. And we're actually going to go here with it. Spin four crystals. We don't get an advantage because the three's already been used, but um, we count our pips, so there's seven, so we're still below the eight threshold. So we can secretly peek at two things. I'm not going to worry about it because I know what those two are. That's what I'm going for. All right. Now, the AI goes with a four. Which means the harvester is going to move can't move down as I understand it um, and he's gonna go to the observatory with a four or depository to observatory with a four so that is gonna go there and it's oh he doesn't have a crystal so he can't do that dang it he's gonna go to the Academy with a four um, and that is going to give him two more dice. 
All right. Boo. Then we're going to go here with a five. Can't negotiate because he has no crystals. Uh, well, he's going to... Can't go to the observatory with five because it's taken up. That space is already being taken up. So he's going to go to the mining camp. And he always starts on the left-hand side in that case because that's not number dependent. And he's going to gain one crystal. And if I understand correctly, he doesn't get the action. So he's not going to get, you know, because he doesn't pay water. So it just covers up the space. He's going to gain one crystal. Okay, that's that go. Now it's our turn. So, uh, what's the best thing to do here? I uh, wish I had matching dice, but I don't. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, with the four, we're going to go over here. And we're going to pay with this card. It's going to be discarded. That's going to act as two power because of our power surge uh, this turn. The four is going to get me this upgrade. So we're going to put it right here. So we'll flip up. All right, so that's another five water reduction tile. All right. Um, our six. Hmm. Probably. Yeah, so I hate to waste the six on going to the... Uh, thing over there, but I really, I had, mm, mm, I need, I need more energy too. Dang. Okay. I can't do that. Huh. Well, I guess I could cost five less water. Whatever I do cost five less water. Now, shoot. I don't have any algae. I really kind of need algae, if I'm being honest, but I don't want to trade too much for it. Uh, well, okay. Let's just, it's kind of a waste, but we'll go here. We'll spend, no, we'll go here. All right, so because this is a six, that means we can trade up to six times. So let's spend... Three, four, five. So three water to get a power. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to spend another six water. One, two, three, four. To get two more energy, which will give me eight total, and that's all I'm doing. Let's clean this up right quick. Yeah, that's all I'm doing there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, we're going to use this five and go there. Is that legal? Hold on, let me double check this. Because if I can use the no algae cost, oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's ignoring the cost of the garage up here, not the cost of the action. Okay. Never mind. Uh, we'll do this. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to spend eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight energy. That's going to give me eight points. It's not the first time we spent a five, but that's going to be ten total pips. 
I get to rearrange my research base, so I'm going to do this. Because of upgraded tiles on your research base right there. And I could if I had any down here do that, but I only have one. But now I have to take, because that's greater than or equal to 10, one of these. Uh, and do something I don't have. I, it has to be something that I can do. So... I think the least, the I don't want to get rid of any upgrade tiles, any farms. I don't want to move a harvester. I don't have a dice or a um, crystal to give. So I'm gonna have to get rid of two cards. Hmm. So I guess I get rid of these two cards. All right, so I'm going to discard those because of that. And uh, that's going to be the end of my turn. That's the end of the execute phase. Go to the harvest phase. We return dice. Um, that's the only two I can return. Or actually, I don't. I keep forgetting. I technically don't return those yet. So it's something like that. Uh, return dice, gain gems. Because where he's at, he's going to get two gems plus one more for this, um, and also when he rests in the rest phase, he's going to gain a die. Uh, I'll put that out there yet. So he gets two gems. Um, harvesting for me is two energy, 12 water, then I get three more water, 30, um, and that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, then rest, he would gain dice, he doesn't normally gain dice, but because of this, he's going to gain dice anyway, and uh, I'm going to bring my dice back, I'm desperately going to need to go, uh, he, he would get, oh, actually, return dice, so he actually would have got one more gem because he would have been in the plus three already, dang. I can't use those, so it sets it aside. So he's, he's a full dice, what it boils down to. Uh, oh, man. I need dice. I don't need dice. And this is only two more rounds left, too. All right. All farms produce double their resources. Okay. That's this turn. All farms produce double their resources. Interesting. Rolling the dice. Six and a four. Well, oh, I just realized that I did that whole turn without you guys seeing this. Dang, I'm an idiot. I can't go back and redo that. Alright, so uh, I just realized that I spent like the entire last turn not showing what happened. Um, the ultimate end game is I got a lot more water. And the solo AI got um, oh, some crystals, a bunch of crystals. That's what happened. Sorry about that. So now let's go back to the dice tray. Now we're rolling. We revealed the uh, end of an error card, right? So we show all of the gem caches, which we picked it on before, so it didn't matter. So let's roll our dice. Four, four, five, and three. All right, four, four, five, and three. Um, be nice to buy something else from the lab. Of course, I don't have anything that gives me points, so maybe that's that would just be two points. I don't know that it's necessarily worth it. Uh, 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 uh. 
don't have a whole, you know, I would like to trade maybe twice to get a bunch of crystals. Let's, let's do that. So, let's trade, go trade a couple times. Don't have enough to build this fuel refiner, which I would like to build. Well, I guess I could build it when I do the trade, because I'm going to be able to do a ton of trading. And then I've got it five. One five. I really needed a two. Dang. Oh, wait, no. Here's what we got to do. Let's take this back. we got to do that down to a two so that we can go over here and grab that with a harvester. That's number one. Then we're going to trade... four times to get one, two, three. I could get three more water. I could get six points. I mean, three more energy. I could get six points. So let's use the four to do that. And then I need to turn something in. I don't have a good place. Well, I use the five to mine. That may be worth a couple more points. Okay. Man. Oh, that sucks. Okay. AI first. It's going to be a six, which means he's going to move... Uh, in this direction, so he's going to go all the way up here. He's going to take that gem. Uh, and then he's going to try to negotiate with the yellow. He has six. Oh my gosh. So it takes all of those. And but that does put us at 5, 10, 16. Uh... I'm not sure what the X equals X. I never got it that high before. Uh, let's see here. Uh, advancement setbacks. If I'm looking at there are six negotiations. First four, at least, that's in the dice of the same guy. First four to heard the lava lasters are concerned with the dice. Uh, oh, okay. That's dice of the same value. Okay, 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 okay. So, oh, actually, I would have got a setback for that, too. So I guess I should, I should be fair about it and take that. Let's see, so I guess lose. I don't know if I had this or not at the time, but I'm just going to assume that I, because that's, that's fair. It's a dice... So it's greater than 8, 10, 12, or 15, and then any time you put two of the same dice in the same column, which actually means I should get another one because of that. Dang it. Uh, 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 I know this is kind of retconning a little bit, but I want to make it as fair as possible. So I'll lose a farm for that one. I've never, never done that. I, I thought it was just each additional die, not the two of the same die. Okay. Uh... Well, that sucks. I mean, I know I've benefited from that. Actually, I did benefit from that. So, 10. I know I got six water from that one time, at least. So, all right. That's the best I can go back and do that, I think. Uh, What did it do? I got placed over there. And... That placed it, yeah, I think that's done. All right, uh, so it did that. The second scheme card is gonna be a five and it's gonna go to the depository, which it can do, not do. Dang it, it's going to the foundry and it's gonna get that, ah, which means it's gonna execute a third scheme card. With a three, it's going to try to go negotiate. Can't negotiate. It's going to go to 
the market, which it can do, and it's going to get three crystals. All right. It's turns done, finally. Thought that would never end. <sighs> All right, so we're going to have to go. We're going to go. We need to move this. So we're going to move this three. We're going to make it a two, right, because it's in that position. We're going to pay 10 water, move the harvester to here. So that'll at least give us five points. Then we take an action to make it five less water. So, four. It's not going to matter. All right. We're going to go over here. It's going to be 16 minus four is 12. We use this five. That's going to be seven. So, five, six, seven water. That gives us two crystals. All right. Then, uh, oh, actually, we should have started with this one because that's what that position did. I wouldn't have had the crystals. I'm going to go here. When I have said I went there, this is going to be 6 minus 4. So it would have cost me 2 water to get one more crystal. And then I'm going to go here. That's going to cost me two crystals. Um, and then, but that is five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's greater than or equal to twelve. So I have to do something. And it has to be something I want to do. I don't want to lose the move the harvester, so I'm going to lose crystals, a crystal. And uh, that's everything. So. Um, that's execute phase, harvest, return dice, boom, boom, it gains gems, it's going to gain two, plus one is going to be three, so that's going to give it a total of six gems. Then for me, I'm not going to harvest anything there, I'm not going to harvest anything here on my board because I had to get rid of that upgrade. I screwed that up slightly. And then rest. So technically he would gain that. Uh, I would bring all of my dice back from here. And that is the end of the game. So now let's go through the scoring. Make sure that I score everything right. So what are we going to have? First thing we've got. Dice action, the negotiation board. Over here, this is the negotiation board. So for the negotiation board, well, let me find something to write this down on, because if I don't, I'm not going to remember. Easy. Uh, need a piece of paper. Really? I don't have a piece of paper in here, nowhere? What kind of craziness is that? Uh, here we go. Board that I used to paint from. So for me, on the negotiation board, I have five, well, nine and seven is 16, and five is 21, 25, 33 from the negotiation board. Items that I have acquired, printed value, so I get two for that. Well, that's 35. The harvest posi harvester's position. It's going to be five more, so that's going to be 40. Uh, the quality of the research base, so I'm going to get five points for the research base because I've filled up to this point. Um, and any remaining gems, which I have none, so I believe my score is 45. All right. Now, the AI 
I gotta double check this because the AI does some weird stuff at the end. Uh, uh, the harvester's position on the planet board. Okay, so the dice action and negotiation board. Same thing as me. So they get 13 for this one, 19, 29, 30, 31 off the board. Dice action in the depository. So we have to go over here. So this says for each die in the depository, they get one point. Or no. Wait, is that? Oh, surely that's not. Surely that's not one point per pip. Surely that's not one point per pip. Oh, there are different. Okay. Yep, it is. Because there's there's another board that's got just per die, and this is per pit. Holy crap. Oh, man. They scored me big. All right, so that's 6, 10, 15. That's 18. Yeah, that's already more than I've got. 18 out of the depository. Holy smokes. The harvester position on the planet. Move their harvester to the nearest gym cache tile. And if it's a tie, which in this case, both of these are two away, they go for the higher value. So he would move here and get seven for that. Points for each unlocked AI progress tile. So he's got six points for that. And remaining gems, he's got six points for that. So that is, what, 49, 56, 64. Let's see, 56, 30, 49, 56, 62, 68. Yeah, so the solo AI stomped me bad. And that's the normal one. The easy one I did, I did beat. But the normal one, whew, man. I think, I think... Huh. I don't know. I don't know what I could have done a lot different though. I needed I needed to I needed to do more of this probably, but I I couldn't get the power of the algae. Having more, more dice really really helps too because especially if you could get more stuff done, more things down here, more of these where you're just getting resources, that helps a lot. Now not having to pay to even use the dice saved me a ton of algae in the long run. But, you know, and here's the other thing too. Like, I got a lot of water, but I mean, I had 10 water left over at the end. I mean, I got to do some things, but I don't think I've necessarily used it very well. So, at any rate, that is Circadia First Light. Ooh, let's go back. Let's go back up top. That is Circadia First Light. Still a fun game. Uh, it does some things different. I like what do I, what do I like about it? Well, I like the negotiation board. How how you can go over there to get points, but depending on the dice you use and the and the values, you're going to lose points or have some sort of setback. I like that. Uh, I like that when you action dice in a few different places, you don't get them back. That really makes you think about what you need to do. Um, just like many of uh, Shim's games, I don't feel like I have enough actions, but I think that's the point. So you really got to be strategic. Um, I think the AI does a good job of simulating a player because uh, you know they, they fill out random stuff. Um, and uh, I really enjoy it. I really like it. Uh, it's the first time I've, second time I've played solo all the way through. Uh, I haven't played it with a group yet, but I like it. If you guys uh, don't have it, and this, this review helped you out, uh, like, comment, and subscribe below. And if you need to get a copy of this, you can go to miniaturemarket.com. That's where I, uh, I really enjoy those guys. Those guys also support Rob Warren, which is why I support them, because I love Rob Warren. Uh, if, if you had to pick between me and Rob Warren, I would tell you to go watch Rob Warren, to be honest, because he's an amazing guy for the hobby, for the things he does, 
for the, the charities and things that he supports with his channel uh, and uh, the community that he loves and appreciates and really does everything he can for. So uh, he's the reason that um, I really got into this. Uh, watching him is what inspired me to do this. So all the credit that I have for anything that I've done, uh, I'm going to give to him because he's been my, my hero. I've got to meet him one time. Hopefully I can meet him again. Meet him at Gen Con in uh, 2019. So just for a few minutes, but hopefully I'll get to meet him again and spend some more time with him at some point. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Like I said, let me know what you think about this below. If you have any questions or if I missed any rules, which I know I tried to retcon a couple things and fix it. Uh, I don't think I could have fixed any. I don't think anything I fixed would have given me enough points to get anywhere near close to beating the AI. So I'm not worried about that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. This is the Board Game Roamer, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.